as far as crazy council decisions go, this one, it's right up there. It wants to remove park benches donated by the community. Locals are furious and sent out an SOS, save our seats. If you go to a shop for one of these, you might be looking yeah. at a thousand bucks or yeah, two, exactly. two grand. Yeah. 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 When I came across it, I just thought bingo. This one's even been varnished. Yes, it's beautiful and smooth, yeah. no, no splinters. A generous gift from a mystery donor. We're blessed to have it, like I say. A, a kind gesture by the community to do something like this for us. Cancelled by a nitpicking council. What do you make of the council's decision to remove these seats? It's insane, absolutely insane. Why would you want to take them away? There's meaning for these. They have rocks in their heads if they think that this is an issue. For God's sake. What do you want to tell council? Save our seats. Beaches along Bexley's Prime Minister's Nature Walk in Sydney's southwest are few and far between. Unless you want to sit on an old rock or something like that or a sewer manhole, which has had effluent running out of it. So pensioner Una was delighted to stumble upon two beautifully handcrafted seats at the end of the trail, shipped in by a mystery donor. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. It's the best thing that the community could have ever done for us. Do you know where it came from? From the community around here. It just magically appeared? Yeah. But not everyone's impressed. I'm a bit disappointed, to be quite honest. This all started when a neighbour made a complaint to the council and now Ranger Don has advised that these seats will have to be removed. Well, locals around here aren't taking this sitting down. Lucy thought someone was pulling her leg. Just move on, find something that needs doing and do it and leave us little people enjoy these little gestures from the community. Una's worried about where she'll rest her weary legs. If the seat wasn't here, Una, would you have to sit on that rock? Yes, you would have to sit on that rock, and then I'd have to get the council to hoist me up. <laughs> to hoist you up. <laughs> and Paul says, surely, the quality of workmanship can't be the reason for rejecting the seats. The whole four of us on here could stand up and down on it, and I don't think it'll ever move. Come on, let's do that, guys. Come on. <laughs> Pretty solid. It's not the first time the Bayside Council has got a bee in its bonnet over unauthorised community initiatives. Last Christmas it ordered Paul to remove festive lights he had been stringing up in the same council park for the past 15 years because a neighbour complained they were too bright. Are these the lights you don't like? No, not black. The council directive backfired. Paul received so much support he ended up rigging up more lights in the park. People dropped boxes of lights off here for me to put up more lights to make it more Christmassy and to increase the Christmas spirit because they thought Bayside Council was wrong about trying to remove Christmas lights. Yet here we are again. Can't put brains in statues. There's no word from Bayside Council if it will replace the donated seats it intends to remove. Just mind their own business and leave us alone to enjoy this environment which is provided for us for nothing. Mm. I mean, what, how hard is that? Keep your nose out of it and do what you're supposed to be doing. I like that advice, just keep your nose out of it. And guess what? Bayside Council has now benched plans to remove the seats and touch wood. It stays that way. Shocking.